the pizza. This hand is interesting. Turn one Dak fade, and, but I think turn one Jace is a little stronger. Like go land a Black Lotus Jace versus going like turn one Oath. Because you can lead up with an Oath if he's playing a creature deck. He could just be on shops. I don't want to run into Mind Break Trap or Wasteland. So I think you go Basic Island. Although they could just have Strip Mine as well. Go Black Lotus. And then Jace. Playing specifically around Mind Break Trap because if we played one more card, we would be running into it. Definitely going to Brainstorm. More lands. That's good. Lands are good. So because there's a ton of sphere effects in Vintage, I'm actually just going to throw out the jet. So first game of on-camera Vintage, turn one Jace the Mind Sculptor. I could lose the game, but this is definitely how I want to be living my life. Turn one Jaces. That's why I play show and tell. So this might just get pyroblasted, which would be very, very bad. Because I went really all in on the Jace. The plan was to like, oh, he could be on Paradoxical. I think that'll be a bad matchup. Especially with given my hand. Like, I just don't have any anti-combo stuff going on. All right, Landstill Mirror go to decking a few weeks ago. I won because I broke Standstill on their end step and had one more card in my deck. That's badass. This isn't Bug Sylvan Counterbalance at all. You're right. This is indeed vintage. I completed both of my leagues, and now I'm just chilling out with one of my homies. Playing some Vintage is the last game of the day. I like cracking standstills at the end of people's turns to make them draw cards, then discard the cards that they drew. So they occur like no advantage. Although Volcanic Island? They know... Let's brainstorm before we even th like say anything. I probably don't need Grove or Gristlebrand. In fact, I might want to like a bottom the gristle brand and the grove i guess you do like gristle brand then grove or put on yeah put on bottom put on bottom so you don't completely mill yourself when you oath that's such a bad draw <laughs> that's such a terrible draw dragon's breath is just like definitely not meant to be in your hand Lingering Souls is a great card. Staxilla. I'm shocked people aren't on Lingering Souls now, but it might just be because Leovold is three mana, and like that spot is occupied. And also people are not playing four color control with white, which I think is just wrong, because white's really good. Swords to Plowshares is a very good removal card. So he's on like Jeskai Mentor, or something like that. I don't know. Some kind of Jeskai deck. So expect to see JVP, Jace the Mind Sculptor, Dak Faden, all the usual suspects. Dragon's Breath is a cool card. I also have Loman here. Obviously, I picked up the vintage deck with life from the Loman in it. I get to Dak. Oh, Ancestral is just absurd. I might want to brainstorm first so that I can Dak if the Ancestral gets countered. Okay, I also have Mental Misstep now. Maybe you just play out Dak Faden. Although, I'm just a greedy guy. I could play J Dak and Ancestral all in one turn. So why not? Okay. Well, we probably want to preordain now. I could discard Dragon's Breath because it's definitely still bad. Uh, I would take Mox Emerald. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could play Oath of Druids. Yeah, I mean, I'm not leaving anything open. If my opponent plays a creature.
Ah, mind break trap. So earlier when I didn't play in a mind break trap, that was good. We have a backup both anyway, so. NBD. Maybe I want to discard Dragon's Breath, but. I like playing Oath because it stops him from playing creatures. Like Monastery Mentor, JVP, things like that. Ancient Grudge on my Mox. That's kind of a good play. I, I like having my mana. Because the Oath decks are super thirsty. Because, I mean, it's four colors. Well, this one's three. I'm not running white or black. I just have the Mox because, like I said, the deck is super thirsty. Ancient Grudge. Wow, he's just destroying all of my Mox. It's, like, it's still a good line. They certainly didn't make a bad play. Oh, it looks like it's four color control. Or maybe they're just running that for... Uh... Now I can't Dak. Now I can. See, like, you can readjust your Brainstorm, but you can never readjust your Ponder, and I just don't get that. So I have two Dak. And I don't have Force of Will, so I think you just YOLO out Dak Faden here. Discarding Dragon's Breath, and let's say another land. Maybe the Ponder. I'll do the other Dak. Because I don't think I'm playing another Dak next turn. James, you know, let's play Landstill. I do want to play Landstill for sure. I may play, I'll definitely try Blue-White Landstill for sure. Because you know I love me my land still. And I'm assuming that like blue white is just substantially better in terms of land still and vintage. Although I will try bug as you know, I'm gonna try bug too. Cause I love me my bug. I love that bug. Damn, there's 191 people watching me play vintage right now. I expected everyone to leave the second that I opened up vintage. <laughs> oh, he's playing vintage? Ugh. But hey, this is your fault. You guys paid for this. Is this a Jace Mirror? Yeah, I'm guessing this is a Jace Mirror and he like tapped wrong. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yo, Jace Reserves. So now I'm looking for like P-Fire. I'm running two. I have Dak Faden. So maybe I'll just draw it. We're eternal. I'm glad you're all eternal. We're all eternal now together. I'm definitely going to be playing a good amount of vintage, though. Like, I'm going to be playing vintage off-camera and on-camera. Probably equal, because I need to practice as well. Pan Chase, no, 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 no. Can I pay for you to stop playing vintage? I mean, you can. I don't think it'll work, though. Mox, Mox. I'm taking that Mox Sapphire, though. Sabo's Web. Whenever under each land with activated ability that isn't a mana ability can untap during its controllers and tap step. So this is for like shops, isn't it? I mean, this guy's got, b has got this spice. For sure. Sabo's Web. I've only seen a couple people play Sabo's Web. Force of Will is a great draw. I kind of like throwing out Time Walk. Seeing what happens. Because taking an extra turn with Planeswalkers is obviously just very good. That's a great draw. I guess we could just get rid of like Mental Misstep. And maybe... I don't know. Because I'm have i going to fetch because I'm going to cast Punishing Fire on my opponent's Jace. Uh, maybe you just get rid of this. And like, Brainstorm? Because I'm brainstorming so much. Then maybe it just doesn't matter. Get a Volcanic. Uh, punishing Fire your guy.
And then hopefully I can dack into, um, oh, I guess I could just actually, I'm going to steal a mox this turn. I'm going to steal the jet. Because now that I drew mana drain, I kind of just want the mana. As you can see, a lot of these games are not going to be won by Oath. They're going to be won off the backs of Planeswalkers. Like, a lot. Most of these games, in fact. So we can get deeper. I think we get deeper, and then we're going to Dak first, then Jace. Because, like, you don't need Mox Pearl. Uh, or a Fetch Land, I guess. And then Brainstorm. And there's Orchard Oath. Dragon's Breath is in the graveyard. I mean... Damn, Vintage is awesome. This was like a turn for the ages. Okay. Okay. <laughs> When you have the nut draw, <laughs> I love this oath deck. <laughs> like it's just so sweet, dude. And Gristlebrand has haste. Gristlebrand has haste. So I've got mana drain, force of will, and flusterstorm backed up by mental misstep. So I think this is game. I think it's game. What is this? Notion Thief? I probably mana drain Notion Thief. You could keep a Pyroblast, which would be annoying. But you can fluster show with the Pyroblast, so. And then force pitching force. True. He will actually gain fire breathing, so. Return target creature card to its owner's hand. Okay. I don't think that was a bad play. I think that was actually kind of a good play. I didn't expect that. Now I can't get Gristlebrand. Oh, he's playing Paradoxical Outcome. I didn't expect that. I could Mana Drain to get the mana, but I don't really need the Mana Drain mana, and the Flusterstorm could be bad, and I just don't really care about Paradoxical Resolving. Or care for it to resolve, I should say. He's going to mental misstep. Um, I mean, I guess I can mana drain now. Make him pay for it. And then drain. Okay, one. I had everything. <laughs> I had Oath, Dak, and Jace. I'm telling you, this is the sweetest of the lists. It's very, very cool. So we're going to play... 